What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? What the f happened? What just happened? I'm Dan. That's Julia. And today we're here to talk to Yellow Jacket Season 2, Episode 5, called Two Truths and a Lie. I think it was a pretty good episode. What about you? I liked it. I liked it. I did like it, although we did have a bit of a spoiler from last week. We did. If you comments. guys if you guys watched our theory video that went up earlier today, someone knew about something that we'll get to. So I won't be reading any more comments if they make any more predictions, this, <laughs> this particular person. <laughs> Because clearly they watched the episode early. Don't know how, but clearly they did. That or they're just a really good guesser. But like, yeah, come on. Really good. Really I good would, guesser. I maybe, I don't know. I wouldn't have seen it coming otherwise, but. Uh, who would, like, who would have called that? Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. This episode, I really like how it opened up with Van, Lauren Ambrose. I'm such a big fan, obviously from Servant. But just to see her in this show now, it just feels like higher quality. Like it's elevated now. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like she's, she's just such a good actress. And I just, I love how drastically different this character is for her compared oh to what God. we're used to seeing her in. It's completely different. Like imagine Dorothy from Servant being in her predicament, like her current, she wouldn't, she would never. Imagine <laughs> Dorothy from Servant eating a fucking half a sprinkled donut and a, a Mountain Dew for breakfast. Like, yeah. <laughs> popping oxys like come on get out of here <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah it's really cool to see her perspective of when ty came back into her life i do have a theory now on where they're going with with their storyline i'll save okay. it for when we get to it because they had a specific conversation that made me go i think that's what they're going to do so we'll see if i'm right about it but obviously van's concerned she's like she pretty much could sense that that ty's going through this sleepwalking thing again she just knew it yeah. and like why else would you come see me after all this time like right, obviously something's right. up and i really like this parallel because then they show the past and she apparently stopped sleepwalking from going to lottie's morning whatever you want to call it like meeting i don't know therapy session yeah like, whatever that is that like they her do. little prayer circle kind of deal but fans convinced I stopped sleepwalking because I started going and it's making her very happy, as you can see. And she's got her followers and she has her haters, Shauna. Shauna seems annoyed by all of this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get it. Yeah. But like, when you're in a predicament like that, I feel like you gotta, like, you gotta have something to cling on to. You gotta have something to believe in to keep yourself going. So, exactly. I get why, I get why other girls are, are kind of joining in on it. Me too. But And it was really a common theme of of this episode to have Shauna just like be kind of fed up and annoyed with Lottie's presence, really. Like she just doesn't yeah. seem to like her. So I wonder if they saw each other in current time, how would they treat each other? You know, that would be cool. Not good. And that's, happen. that's going to happen. They're, they're all going to meet oh, yeah. up again. All, all of them. So they have to. I'm excited. They have to. And then probably one of the coolest storylines this episode is seeing Callie interact with Matt, the cop and they're bowling and, you know, He's clearly much older than her because she's in high school. She tries <laughs> to get a kiss out of him, and he just kind of like. And he was like, "Ah, oh, that's uh, illegal." <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, I'm a cop. I cannot kiss this high school kid. Yeah. I just don't know how she was surprised when she found out that he was a cop. I know. Yeah. Because like little... he clearly looks like 15 years older than her. Like, it's how a, did no a... one at this bowling alley go? That's is that a dad and her his daughter? Yeah. yeah, what's up with this situation going on here? But I liked I liked what happened because you know he was awkward about the whole situation. Then he has to go to the yeah. bathroom, and then she gets to see the the credit card statement to find his full name, like which I guess she didn't know, and she just looks him up and finds out he's a cop. And then she's like, "Oh crap! <laughs> like, what am I going to do now?" On her part it was smart. Yeah. So I like that interaction that comes out later when she talks to her parents about it. But then we're back in time and the Yellow Jackets are trying to get information out of Javi, which I love where it ends up in this episode. Really cool. But yeah. did you notice the the one character goes, maybe he maybe he died. And we had people who commented yes. that, who thought that. Yes, maybe that's just his ghost. And I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. it is. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, it's cool. And then Travis like defends him. You know, I'll talk when he's ready, but 
that storyline progresses a little more and it's really cool what what could be going on there i like it and uh cable i could have made a really good point in our theory video check that out if you haven't seen it because something something's going on there and i think she might be right sure is so then Callie comes up with the idea to okay i know this guy's a cop i've been tricked let me tell him that shauna my mom is actually having an affair with jeff's best friend randy yeah who is it my dad's best friend randy like how fucked up is that let me do this to throw him off the trail so she says it his face is kind of like hmm didn't expect her to say that it was like the first time where he was kind of like challenged by her you know he was like oh okay yeah okay. Like, yeah what the hell that are you now? <laughs> yeah so that comes back later but then walter and missy they're playing two truths and a lie which you know again just an adorable scene i really don't like what happened with these two this episode hopefully they can patch it up soon because i just don't want to see them not together no hopefully right. they patch it up but I they stumble upon that. yeah I, I was and then they stumble upon the purple people's place which happens to be lottie's cult i think we found her oh, shit. and then callie talks to shauna and jeff about the situation she's like remember i told you guys this well turns out i've been seeing this guy he's a cop and i told him that you're having an affair sorry <laughs> oops <laughs> yeah whoops but then shauna kind of comes around it's actually not a terrible idea she's like oh okay so you told him i was dating randy all right set it up tell him i'm gonna see him tonight he'll tell me and maybe we can get him off our scent with this whole story it's actually the Which first good idea they've had yeah was a good plan it was it definitely was and then back in time again travis is trying to get some information out of javi he doesn't want to push it but did you notice how javi turned and looked at lottie he like glanced at her did you mm -hmm. notice that? That was weird. I was yeah. like, okay, what's up with that? I really yeah. liked it. Yeah, then, it felt like there was definitely something to that. So yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm excited to see if, if that pans out. I can't wait to find out more information on Javi, where he was, that whole thing that, that we're going to get to in a little bit. But then Travis calls out Nat for lying about the situation. In the first place, we knew this was going to happen. Maybe he wouldn't be so fucked up if I had found him sooner. So that's on you. We knew they were going to have yeah. to have this conversation eventually. Natalie notices the cut on Lottie's hand. I thought that was pretty cool. She's like, oh, I know what you're mm -hmm. up to. And this whole time, yeah. Natalie, she's trying to seem like she's in and she's down for the cause. But really, she's just trying to expose Lottie this entire time. That's that's what her goal is. So, Oh, well, yeah. Cool. And I'm sure Lottie knows that. Yeah. If they're having like a chess match the entire time. So it's pretty cool. And then in Karen time, Misty and Walter ask for Nat. She comes out. She explains the situation. She tells him to leave. But I'm not being held against my will anymore. I'm sorry, Lottie. She's like, I'm not here. I'm not kidnapped. I'm I'm here in my own free will now. I am now anyway. You guys got to go. Yeah. So wasn't the best outcome that Misty was hoping for, but this leads to something bigger. So obviously this had to happen for the story to progress. So cool. Okay. Now this is the scene we're talking about with the spoiler in our theory video so misty and crystal are being besties walking the the waste out to the to the bathroom whatever they want to call it yeah gross and they go and it turns out that misty thinks they're bonding and she's like well i actually lied about something check this out i found the plane's emergency transmitter i turned off the transmitter when we first were stranded and i destroyed it and she thinks that they're cool enough that she'd just be like, oh, oh okay, like, I still love oh, you. Oh, cool. Yeah. Which was a but, huge mistake. Huge mistake. Crystal's just like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to play your games. I'm going to go tell everybody what you did. Like, fuck off type of thing. Yeah. And yeah. so she tries to threaten her, but she ends up kind of causing her to, I mean, yeah, she caused her to fall off a mountain. Mm. She didn't, she didn't kill her, but she... Was the reason she but died. But she was the Does reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And someone said that in our theory video that Missy was going to kill Crystal. Kristen, 
her real name is whatever and which is crazy that's so yeah. funny yeah like yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> like being so awkward that you're like yeah uh <laughs> they've always well, had my name wrong i just didn't correct them well they gave me a nickname i really always wanted a nickname so whatever which is a cool Crystal. nickname too so yeah. I, I don't Crystal the, yeah, the pistol. I mean, it's pretty badass. Yeah, that happens, and I'm just curious if she'll get found out about it. I doubt it, though. I don't know how that'll play out. I'm not sure. I think she's got a pretty good cover up when it comes to like like the storm. She does because Ty and and Shauna kind of got lost out there too. Um, yeah. But didn't didn't they mention the whole like she destroyed the transmitter thing last season? Because I feel like I knew that. Jennifer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, we we were showing that she did it. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. I just wanted to make sure I was I was right in thinking that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I feel like it's only a matter of time before people find out about that. I mean, if yeah. they find out about Crystal, they're definitely gonna find out about that. So we'll see. That's true. Yeah. So we'll see how they react to it. I don't know. Maybe that's why everybody hates Misty and Karen Time. And it's just like I'm still a fan of hers, but everybody tries to push her away. So We'll see. I just feel bad for her, you know? She just wants to fit in, and she just can't. On that note, she doesn't want to give up on that. She's like, no, I don't buy this story. Whatever. I'm going to stay here and stick this out and try to figure out what's going on. And then Walter kind of turns the conversation to Adam. I'm sorry to say, Misty, you slipped on this one. She's very much dead. Mm. Saying, hey, I, I know you lied about that situation. In fact, I think you did it. You think I'm capable of murder? And that does not go over it. well. Yeah. I knew he that does, did it. Doesn't go over well, and they go their separate ways. So hopefully well, they... Well, like, she doesn't they, help her case by, like, storming away like that. She doesn't. She definitely doesn't. Because he's like, no, you, no, I definitely think he did it. Yeah. And she gets out and says they're over. Whatever this is, is over. So we'll see. Like, if they're not going to be together, then what is Walter's purpose in the show? I don't I think know. he'll be back. I think so too. And I hope so. So I feel like then, he's also like a pretty big like actor to just have in for like two yeah, episodes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. For sure. He he's definitely noteworthy enough that you should be using him the most that you can. Right. Get the most yeah. out of him. Yeah. And then Kevin, the cop, and Matt follow Shauna to a hotel where she's meeting up with Randy so that she can sell this story. And we'll we'll get to what happens with that in a minute. But then we see Lottie in, in the past whisper to Shauna's stomach, you're going to change everything. And it's like, what oh. is she talking Ugh. about? But like, now I'm kind of convinced that that's Lisa. I think her yeah. kid is Lisa. I really do. So I'm excited. I yeah. Mean, I, it weirded me out. It could be. It could be. Now she does say it's a boy, but I mean, she could totally be wrong. Yeah. She could be. So we'll see what happens with that. And uh, then in current time, Nat is trying to expose Lottie. She thinks she gets this information that's going to piss off all of the cult members, but they already knew about it. So then Lottie says to Nat, yo, whatever you're trying to do, not going to work. What really needs to be focused on here is Travis said you were right about something. Travis said that you were right about something what the hell were you right about? We need to figure this out together. Let's stop this bullshit. Yeah. Stop trying to expose me. Let's figure this out. That's why you're here. So I liked I liked where that storyline went. It was cool. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I think that's going to be very interesting, seeing the two of them like working together as opposed to against each other. Yeah, me too. It'll be a nice change of, change of pace for sure. And uh, okay, then the whole affair storyline plays out where Shauna wanted Randy to fake it and he had some uh, performance issues, let's say. So he put some lotion into oh, Randy. The condom. I yeah. knew he was going to ruin it. I knew he yep. was going to ruin it. He put lotion in there, which spoils everything because Matt and Kevin go to check on the scene. They find out that it's lotion. They didn't actually sleep together. Okay. No, and like, they're lying. I, yeah. I get like it looked like lotion. Like it didn't look like the real thing, but like I would not have put that thing close to my face. Just not me either. Yeah. yeah. Matt's just like obsessed with it. And he realizes he's been made and that Callie actually yeah. got one over on him. But he's like, hey, mm. you're good. I'm better. It's lotion. Fuck yeah. The cuse is loose, baby. 
I'm going to crack this case. Now it's going to be interesting to see those two interacting because now Matt knows that Callie knows what he's doing. Yeah. So, but Callie gonna... doesn't know that he knows that she knows. So. Right. Exactly. So it's like, okay, now what? <laughs> so cool. All right. My favorite scene in this episode Javi tells Ben, She told me not to come back. Who did? My friend. Who? So, like, there's more people around. I love it. Yes. Love it. Now, so. granted, this could be like a hallucination type thing, but I don't think. Yes. It, it could be. I don't think it is either. I think there's something along the lines of cave lies and other people's theories being correct that mm -hmm. there's other people here. Something else is at play. Uh, there might be a safe space, maybe some underground tunnels like people think there could be. But yeah. there's something else going on. And now we're starting to get some true evidence of that. So really cool. I like that. Ty and Shauna are stuck in the storm trying to go back to the cabin. Shauna's having some pains. And we find out that she's in labor later on. But mm -hmm. really interesting how it kicks off. And now we're going to get some solid answers. Like, did the baby actually survive? What's going on here? So yeah. really fun. I like that. We're going to get that next week, too. Like I'm very excited week. to find out that answer. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. And then a quick scene that Van was actually lying about taking the oxys. Maybe she is an addict. She has yeah. something going on. Love this part. So Ty is the other Ty. She's sleepwalking. She goes and kisses her. And she says, This isn't where we're supposed to be. So this is my theory. I think they're going to go back to the crash they're site. They're going to go back? I think they're going to go back. And I think it's going to be a good amount of them. Like maybe all of the yellow jackets are going to now, go back. You remember how it, I forget where we saw, but there was a scene that they like teased of them all dancing around a fire. Yes, I remember I don't that. Remember, yeah. I think that was in like the original trailer. That would make a whole lot of sense if they went back to where they were stranded to do that little ritual or whatever they're doing in that scene. Great point you bring up because I think you are right about that. I think that is probably where that scene takes place. They do go back. So and I, and I think like Ty basically just told us, you know, if they're not supposed to be here, where are they supposed to be? It doesn't make any sense to be anywhere else. Yeah. So I think they will go back. Further explanation on something else. Someone else is there. Lottie is trying to bring out of Nat's memory of this interaction with Travis that made Travis say, hey, you're right about something. And she envisions them all dead in the yeah. crash. But then she says, we weren't alone out there. And then we brought it back with us. The whole time there was something out there, a darkness with us or in us. It still is. Mm -hmm. So that's just more evidence that there's, you know, obviously something supernatural going on and more people here at play than we're originally led to believe. So yeah, really cool. hundred percent. And then Lottie sees that shadowy antler figure, just creepy stuff. I love mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Really fun part. Misty tries to join Lottie's cult. I think she will in fact join and that's going to be fun to see where that plays out. And hopefully Walter comes back and maybe he plays along too. I don't know. But I think she'll yeah. be there for a bit. I think she will be there for a bit. I feel like it has to happen that way to like move the story along. But like, I think it'd be really funny if Bloody was like, Misty, what the hell are you doing here? Go home. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Someone else just pushes her away. I know. I don't know if we can really say poor Misty when she was the reason that they were all stranded there like forever yeah i know i know you said that you think it has something to do with like um like them being in a different i don't know universe or whatever yeah different realm yeah realm that's the word i'm looking for um mm -hmm. so like do you think even if she hadn't destroyed the transmitter that it would still be the same thing like they would get to that spot and they wouldn't even be able to find them yeah i think even if she didn't do it, they wouldn't have been able to find her and find them unless they went through the exact like door that you got to go through right. to get right. to where they're at. I okay. think it's literally a different realm, a different, just like kind of just like Wakanda. That's the best example yeah. I can give. Just like yeah. you can go there, but you're not actually there unless you go through a specific yeah. spot. So we'll see. The I would be ends. very impressed oh. if that's what it is. I hope so. I Sorry, hope I'm right. Ahead. No, I hope I'm right. That's, that's, I think that would be really cool. So then the last scene, we just find out that, yeah, Shauna is in labor and she's going to give birth next week. So we'll find out 
what's going on with the baby get your theories in do you think the baby survives do you think the baby is actually lisa there was a comment from the theory video saying that the actor that plays lisa is transgender so if it's born a male it could be lisa still because of who, who oh, got cast in the- i didn't know that yeah. yeah what do you guys think leave your comments down below let us know whatever you think's going on you know the symbol the four queens theories the baby everything any questions you want us to address for next episode hopefully you guys liked this episode i thought it was a great one but that'll do it for this week you guys take it easy see you next time bye guys